In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take your videos to a new level by simply adding in some very cool sound effects and some motion graphic overlays. For me to create the sound effects of the train or even the overlay and the sound effects, I'm going to introduce you to a new software company called AE Juice. AE Juice is one of the leading motion graphics softwares out there. It's been around since 2015. It was predominantly made for Adobe series like Premiere and After Effects, but they now also have a bundle that is designed for linear editing softwares like Corel Video Studio. The bundle itself actually contains 36 different types of software. For the video intro, I used Liquid Elements. At the start of this tutorial, I made a little video clip of me sitting in the train. What sells the illusion is the, the sound effect of the train. Now, I just simply used one of the sound effects in the bundles from Sound Effect Pro. However, if you go back to AE Juice, you'll see a section here called Free Plugins. And within that, you'll see here called Sound Effects. You'll get 138 sound effects absolutely for free. So I highly suggest giving that a go. Let's see how we would go about adding one of the liquid elements to a project. So here I have just a typical green screen in the footage. I'm going to go to the FX filter. I'm going to be looking for the Chroma Key Pro. I'm going to click, drag that onto my clip like so. I'm going to go for the little star, click it once, filter, Chroma Key Pro. So here we are in new blue Chroma Key Pro. I'm going to hit the green key and obviously I'm going to use the color picker, get rid of all that. And I think my color range is too sensitive or too high. Let's crank that down. And that should bring it right back to that. Looks pretty good. Let's have a little preview of that. Yep, looks pretty good. And we're going to hit OK. All right, all we need to do now is find something for the background. And all I did was use something standard. That came with the Corel Video Studio. And I think it was the rolling backgrounds over here. Yes, let's grab that. Click and drag. We're almost done, folks. Is that quick? Let's have a look how that is. Yep. Now, if you're off, if you're wondering why my skin tone is so weird, it's because I'm using Sin Style in my camera. And if you don't know what that is, I, I highly suggest you do a little bit of googling. But what it actually does, it makes it really easy to color correction and color grade. Now I'm going to use my little scrubber and then look for where roughly I start pointing. And probably right as I hit the top, I want to add in the effect. So to make sure I don't forget where this starts or where this point is, I'm going to create a little marker here. So just here in the video track, I'm just going to hit it once and it leaves a little green triangle. And that just allows me to remember that's where the finger points up. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. First thing we need to do is go find that little element that suits best here. Now, when you do get the elements, I'll show you just how much of this elements you actually get. I'm going to go step one back. Now, these folders, all these folders represent a category. And then if you click on one of the folders, then you get all these explosions. And it shows you, all you have to do is just click on it, obviously, and it pops up a window. And then you can have a bit of a preview to show you what it does. Let's do that again. Boof, there you go. And if you like something, you just click and drag that or import it into your project. I'm just going to move this to the second monitor. And luckily, I already have the one that I want here. Bang. Bang. That's pretty cool. And I'm just going to click and drag that in between the main track and the overlay track. And remember, I just need to click and drag this right to that green. And it kind of snaps right in position. And then all I need to do is just scale this to the point that I can easily manipulate it. Now, you're probably wondering how I'm going to rotate this. Well, very simple, actually. I'm going to create a motion, customs motion. This is going to be one of those times, for those who've been using Corel for a while, you're most likely going to say, wow, I didn't know I could do that. Do absolutely nothing. Press OK. Look what happens. You're going to add another node here at the top. And look what it does. You can now rotate this. So therefore, you can perfectly match where the effect is and your finger is. It's probably a little bit too big. So let's scale that down and then bring it back up. All right. 
do be careful you make sure that you are at the beginning of this because every adjustment you make in here will also then automatically a keyframe in the track motion but what we need to do now is go back into that custom motion i don't know why i keep saying track motion custom motion and then we have to copy and paste it to all right otherwise we're going to create movement press ok so now that should sit there nice and pretty bang bang all right all we need to do okay i'm a little bit off all i need to do now is just key out that black so double click comma key and voila there you go it's all gone and let's have a look bang all right I'm a little bit off i can probably play around with that and get it exactly the way i want it uh, it's not too bad well let's you know what it's a tutorial i really should do this properly right let's get it right there let's go back into customs motion and then make sure we copy and paste it to all right otherwise it's going to move and it ruins the illusion or the effect okay and now all i need to do look at that how pretty is that all I need to do now is just find a little uh, sound effect, and I think I use something called Blast. Well, let's go over and do that. Bring that one in. And let's go. Let's have a look. There you go. And that is how we use these new elements from AE Juice. And if you are interested, uh, subscribe to my channel because I will produce more of this content using the AE Juice. And I'll leave all the links in the description. I'll leave separate links for the, the bundle, and I'll also leave a link in for the, just the elements and the sound effects. I don't work for the company. I just found the software very good, and it works really well with Corel Video Studio. And as always, I like to bring the best content to my subscribers. And there you go, my folks. I'm rambling on as usual. As always... Thanks for watching.